Hello, everyone. Welcome to the SHS Inside Edition. Today, my co-hosts are Tyler Stredden and David Snow. Alvin Lamb was supposed to be with us, but he's taking a cigarette break, so he'll be back yeah. hopefully by the end of the episode. Tyler, we just want to point out, nice haircut. Thank you. Fresh A for the episode 18. Yep. Now for the X2 announcements. Students interested in the American Legion Student Trooper Program can log into Naviance for more information. The program is for students 15 to 17 years old, in good academic standing, interested in law enforcement. The deadline is April 30th. <laughs> the Saga school officials commend Tribuco for his Project 351 selection. Hospice would like to thank the volunteers that volunteered during Volunteer Week. You're welcome. Saugus National Little League had their parade the other day to open the season. It was the best parade since 2005, the year we were all part of Saugus National Little League. Atlanta Braves. Colorado Rockies. Pirates. And then the Pirates the next year and we won the City Series. That's, yep. that's how good we were. I woke up at like 6.30 expecting me to go to Dunks this morning. My ride didn't come until like 7.18. Who's, Who's your ride? Mike? Sweeney. No. You know how miserable I was? He said, I'll get you at 7 on the dot. 718. Then you're like waiting by no the door. Dunks. I was sitting there. Looking out the window. Looking out the window. Nope, not here. Texting him. Yo, what are you doing? Looking out the window. No car. I was, oh, I was so mad. <clears throat> now for this week's lunches. Monday, chicken parmesan. Mm. Tuesday, buff chicks. Wednesday, chicken buffalo sub. Thursday, chicken buffalo. And Friday, buffalo chicks. So. Yes. With or without rolls. <laughs> now for the sports with David Me. Snow. Thanks, Kevin. I'm here in the showers for today's sports. Uh, after two weeks of spring sports, we uh, have the baseball team at four and three, the uh, lacrosse team at two and three, the outdoor track team hasn't won yet, the golf team I think is like one and four, and the softball team is like two and three. I'm pretty sure. So yeah. So that's your sports report. Thanks, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks, Dave, for that wonderful sports report. Now for... with Liz and Brenda. Thanks, Kevin. I have a beautiful model today. Her name is Brenda. And I'm going to talk about prom makeup today because prom makeup is something that a lot of people struggle with, but it really doesn't have to be that hard. It's just going to be a soft and pretty look that anybody can really wear. And good luck. Alright, so prom makeup is something that a lot of people struggle with, but it really doesn't have to be as hard as it looks, and a lot of people don't want to spend like $50 at max, so the first thing you want to do is prime your eyelids so it lasts all night long. This is Urban Decay's Primer Potion, and it's really good. And it basically acts as a double stick tape for your makeup, so it lasts all night long. And a good brush to use is a MAC 217, but if you don't have one, like I don't have one on me right now, you can use a Q-tip, it's basically the, the same thing. <laughs> Urban Decay Shadow in YDK. A lid color, if you want to create a successful eye makeup, you need three different eyeshadows. A lid color, a crease color, and, a, and an outer corner color. And if you want to get real fancy, an inner corner color, which is most usually white or something light to bring some more life to your face. I'm gonna use this to Mac Extra Dimension Shadow in Venetian Tarnish. especially for prom and with prom makeup you don't want to do anything that's like too crazy or out there because um, you really it's like think about if you're going to the Oscars you want the girl to come first and then you notice their makeup and but you really want to look like she's not even barely wearing any makeup because then you like you notice oh my god she's so beautiful instead of wow her makeup looks really good that's that's never what you want I'm just gonna mix that lid color with this, this is the MAC shadow in mythology and also if you if you're doing a really shimmery shade you want to mix it with something matte 
So I'm gonna mix it with just a regular powder bronzer that you can use on your face too. Always buying multi-use products is always a really good idea. Yeah. You wanna think about a shape when you're doing makeup. Like the shape I want is very like elongated and like, like um, I can't think of the word, but just like kind of that pointed outer corner, you know what I mean? You don't want a very round, like Playboy kind of thing. That's not where I'm going with this. Playboy girls always have a round crease and I don't like that look at all. I don't know why, I just thought of that. Is that weird that I noticed that? I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit. That was blends it really good. That's where the makeup can not be so successful is if you don't blend it. It's not quite even with the powder bronzer. Maybe that wasn't a good idea, but yeah, it looks pretty. All right, with foundation, this is like more than enough to do your entire face. You know, and then you like a drop, especially since Brenda has such beautiful, youthful skin. I'm It's also really good to use a primer on your face because, like I said, it acts as a double stick tape. We don't have any primer right now, and it's not a, it's not a crime. <laughs> not a crime, it's not a crime. But, you know, it's, it's a good idea to use primer because it'll last so much longer. But since she already has such an even, smooth base and it's, her skin's really beautiful as it is, it's not really such a big deal that I don't use a primer. I'm going to keep her cheeks pretty bare. Just in the center. There's like... that anybody needs because you don't want to say if anyone ever tells you your foundation looks good you slap them because that is not a compliment and probably the most important thing I remember my grandmother she said do you know what a girl's best friend is and obviously I said no what and she said mascara because if a girl doesn't wear mascara she never has a chance in hell of seeing a diamond so always put on mascara say they don't have cheekbones. I'm like, well, of course you don't have cheekbones. That's where the contour goes. It goes directly under your cheekbones. I'm sorry if I'm handicapped. And bring it up to your temple to hollow, really hollow it out. And you don't even have to use a blush if you want. This is enough, I think. get that like goddess skin when you have the contour. She already has goddess-like skin, but if you put the contour in and then a highlight, which I wish I had with me, that really dewy glow, you just look like an angel from heaven. Oh, it's beautiful, I love that. This is gonna have to act as like a chapstick because it is a moisturizing base for the lips that. mainly in the, the center, just to make your lips look a little fuller. Beautiful. That's the finished look. We just saw one great new look, of course there's many others out there, and we hope that you learn a little something for your prom. And I'm Brenda. I'm Liz. I'm Glenn. Now back to you, Kevin. Thanks for that exquisite fashion report, girls. Now for another commercial about the SHS Film Festival.
Thanks for that great commercial, guys. Now for the weather with Kelsey Witham. Thanks, Kevin. And now for this week's weather. Monday the 30th is sunny, 42 to 61 degrees. Tuesday is partly cloudy, 62 to 63 degrees. Wednesday the 2nd is a few showers, 63 to 67 degrees. Thursday, partly cloudy, 58 to 70 degrees. Friday the 4th is partly cloudy, 53 to 65 degrees. Saturday the 5th is sunny, 60 to 50, 67 degrees. Sunday is partly cloudy, 62 to 67 degrees. And now this week we're doing a new segment. It's the Senior Spotlights where instead of doing them in the Saugus Advertiser, it's a video segment and thanks to the journalism class we have all the information. So here's the Senior Spotlight. So we look forward to seeing more of those spotlights within the next few weeks. So thank you. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for that weather report, Kelsey. Now for the birthdays with Allison, forget her last name. <laughs> no, just no one knows it. She's blocked on Twitter and blocked in her lives. Thanks, Kevin. I'd like to give a shout out to Kelsey Witham because her birthday was last week. And now this week's birthdays are Walter McClellan, Caitlin Jackson, Samantha Lombardi, Leandro Torres, Samantha Singh, Tiffany Remick, Kelly Corbett, Anthony Ferullo, <laughs> Marissa Titus, Cassandra Coughlin, Mike Molina, Natalia Sierra Montoya, Bo Wheeler, Stephanie Kelly, Jenna Stamatopoulos, Tiffany Stamness, Andrea Davis, Andrew Goldberg, Jessica Roberts, Stephanie Gaglini, Ellen Mills, Brianna Moscone, Zach Catanzarini, Nick D. Simone, Corey Dominic, AJ Guthrow, and Stephanie Wozniak. Thanks, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks for that flamboyant birthday report, Allison. Now we're going to take a quick break for a commercial about the film festival. Well, we're back from commercial break. Now for the word of the day with Tyler Stretton. The word of the day is flamboyant. It's characterized by waving curves, suggesting flames. Flames. Remember that episode where Peter was just like, Meg, who let you back in the house? <laughs> Since we don't have a quote of the day prepared, we're going to ask you a question. What is the first thing that pops in your head when you hear the word Alvin? Yellow. Chipmunks. Okay. That's all we have for episode 18 of the SHS Inside Edition. We're going to close it out with a music performance by Igor. And uh, he's always the best, so we're going to see a better performance by him again. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Igor. And to conclude the show today, I'm going to be playing a song called Jeremy. And it's by Pearl Jam. And he goes something like this. At home, drawing pictures of mountain top with a moon top, lemon yellow sun. I'm raising thee 
belly in pools of room below. Daddy didn't give attention, no, to the fact that mommy didn't care. King Jeremy, the wicked, who ruled his world. Jeremy spoke and blasted it. Jeremy spoke and blasted it. Clearly, I remember picking on the boy. Seems a harmless little fuck. Over we and least the lion. Magic feet and beat the recess ladies' dress. How could I forget? And they hit me with a surprise laugh. My jaw left for you. Who dropped right open? It's like the day. All oh, like the day I heard. Betty didn't give affection. And the boy was something that mommy wouldn't wear. Jeremy by Bird Jam and hope to see you again. Peace.